Yes. Hey, welcome to the KW Nipoff Hour, and you are tuned in to the Side Project Podcast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shazzy. For my co-host here, Captain Juicebox, can you sip him in one take? No, I'm just kidding. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode, episode 27, 27 of the, the Side, Side Project, Project Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> Super energy level 200. Um, what's going on, bro? Uh, nothing, man. Not as energetic as you are, but... Yeah, it's one of those days. Nah, man, I'm, uh... I'm bringing it up, trying to bring it up, trying to bring it up because uh, I don't know, man. Like I was, you having problems I was getting up? Uh, having a little bit of issues, man. Having a little bit of issues. That's sorry. No, I, uh, I don't know, man. Like, you know, how, like la- last episode we were talking about the, you know, women and social media and mm-hmm. things like that. And well, I was like watching back the episode and whatnot. TikTok. Algorithm. And uh, no, man. I was just, I don't know. I was just like watching back the episode and like thinking about the state of the world that, that we're currently in and everything, and just like looking around, and it just made me think even more, like further, just society as a whole and the way people act and the way people act to each other. And there was a, a comment on YouTube on the last episode that was saying something about which we've we've kind of discussed before ourselves, which was saying something about. Uh, Oh God! What did they say? I should I should have it in front of me. Uh, you want to put it up? Either no, it's fine. Either way, it was a paraphrase. I'll paraphrase. So something about just that they were agreeing with what we were saying about um, TikTok's algorithm and women showing their body parts mm-hmm. and like that's mm-hmm. that's just a, a flooded on social media and things like that. And they were just saying uh, that it, it makes it difficult for people that are working on an art form or, or doing something or you know to to get exposure when these algorithms are only showing you know the Yo, best looking yeah. people and women and what focusing are, on only, this and that you not know not only that too i think we brought it up a couple of times because i believe it's uh stella or vanessa hudgens like you said plays world of warcraft yeah and it sucks for like and, uh, people and it sucks for Fortnite. Sh- it sucks for like mm-hmm. streamers that have genuinely been playing the game know yeah. the ins and out for fucking years but in comes this big name and they'll get the sponsorships they'll get this they'll get that yeah. or whatever i mean and, and it's cool it's just the way it works sometimes you just still got to keep going and doing your thing yeah um it's, I mean, just, it's part of it's just part of the grind you know what i mean yeah. but it, it does it does put a dampen on the on the situation for for people and i guess you know we're not the only ones that think the way that we think there's other people out there that that agree yeah. with us and i think that's cool and that's why we're going to keep voicing our opinions yeah man things, i you know? i think it's cool that there's a selection of people that agree there's a lot of people i won't out them but it's just funny like there's a lot of people with um some big accounts that will dm us or dm my personal account Mm -hmm. and like tell me like oh you know thank you for your bravery and thank you for saying your opinions and your views like it's not bravery you guys like it's just i'm just stating my views and my opinions and you you could do the same i think they're afraid to it's it's probably because They've either, they've either built a certain reputation for themselves mm-hmm. or have, have come a long way or what they feel has come a long way and whatever it is that they're doing, whether it's just a personal account that, yeah. that they just grew organically. And I get it. They don't want to tarnish that. but Yeah, uh, they I don't want to upset their fans they don't and followers. Throw, they don't want to throw their platform yeah, yeah. off. But you know what I think it is, though? It's just... Uh, I guess if in a sense we could be that voice for you guys, mm-hmm. that's pretty dope. Um, like I know, I, I know we're see, gaming centric yeah. and and movie centric, and we we talk about all those things. But yeah. we also, aside from the goofiness and the funniness, which we kind of mentioned in last episode yeah. as well, we do have real views and opinions yeah. on on the world, which, just I mean, like everybody I else. Think, I think you guys have seen <laughs> also a couple of times yeah. on the episode where we might not always agree. Uh, necessarily on certain things, either, yeah. but but we'll discuss it, and that's the beauty of it, man. I think that's you that's can have your that's opinions. that's where people are missing the the big point on the whole yeah, social dude. media platform in general. It's it's uh you should be taking advantage of interacting with people of mm-hmm. different walks of life, th- people with different points of views, and and just interacting, getting to know people instead of just you know. Because <laughs> we, we've covered following it, the typical stuff, yeah, and we've covered it before too, where it's like people shit on people if you have a different, a very, a, di- a differing opinion than than the yeah. norm, you know. And it's like, and that's and that's you, why I could also understand why there's a lot of people yeah. that that choose not to voice their opinion, that choose not to do mm-hmm. what Chaz does, and and will say, hey, I'm against this, or I don't, I yeah. don't like this, or whatever, yeah, yeah, because they see how people bash them for even opening their exactly mouth i think that's another place. thing too they're, they're afraid to get shit on you yeah. know what i mean because the, it's true i mean people in the comments do like you mentioned before they will drag the living shit out of you you know what i mean yeah. they will they will and especially if you have some sort of fame or any kind of following they will destroy or that for you if, if they don't like what you said and it's like that's so shitty though 
Like nah, that's so you, shitty. You know, dude. you know, you know what I'd rather do. People I'd can rather, have their opinions. I'd rather, I'd rather. See, that's a, <laughs> that's that's kind of a, a a weird situation. But I'd rather DM somebody and say, "Hey, look, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna put him out there on blast in front of the comments and shit like that. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna drag him through the comments. I easily could, you know, with mm-hmm. certain situations. But I'd rather speak to that person. Hey, man. So this was my opinion. Cool that you didn't like it. So what yeah. what could we do to come to a, a resolution point? Or we yeah. don't we, we don't even have to do that, but. Just keep the neg- so much negativity negativity out of mm-hmm. like comments and stuff like that. People are allowed to have their opinions, yeah. and if your opinion is a shitty one that you know is gonna start like a little mm-hmm. comment war, <laughs> because yeah. sometimes yeah. it'll be like three thousand yeah. comments about yeah. setting this shit that they, they yeah. didn't even pertain and, to that. But post. then there's also there's also the the flip side where the controversy sells. You know what I mean? Like you see it on some of these. Um, Especially in hip hop, you see it in like the hip hop Instagram pages. They'll they'll write a controversial title specifically, so you'll click on it and then start controversy in the comments it's and then share it and go. It's clickbait, yeah. Oh. But uh, I don't know. And then aside from that, though, I was laying in bed last night, high as shit, Ooh. and uh, <laughs> which has nothing to do with. It. I'm just I'm just saying I was high yeah. as shit. But you know when you we get really high, you start just thinking. Put, just you're, putting it out there. That's you know what I mean? You start you start thinking. But uh, aside from those high thoughts, I was having real thoughts. Like I just kind of like look back to looking at society and the way the world is and the way we treat people and there's the mm. shit going on in the world and uh, it just like I I'm not even trying to do like a. PSA about being better or trying to make myself look a certain way. I just had like a, what would you call it? An epiphany? I don't know, like a light bulb or just mm-hmm. a, I don't know, a whatever. You know, I just, I want to be a better person, dude. It's just, there's so much crap going on in the world currently, mm. like at this given moment. But just aside from that, like so. there's been so many things just lately over the course of these last few years where I feel like society is just so shitty to one another. And we're just so, we've lost our way, like with, with parents and everything too, you you saw the thing that I posted on my Instagram and a lot of people agreed with me on that. Um, we won't carry it on right now and I'm not going to showcase it on the show, but there was this uh, uh. video of a mother who put her kids on a couch. Maybe I'll put a tiny clip up, but I just don't want to give her more exposure. So you know what I mean? Don't just but explain it. There was a clip of a, 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 a woman, a mother, who lined up her kids on the couch, sat them down, then she came up and she danced, and then the song turned into, uh, I don't know what song it was, a, a twerking song of some sort. I don't remember. And, she, and then she turned around and started twerking in front of her kids. And if you look at the eyes of the that, children, yeah. their children's her children's eyes are locked on her ass, dude. And it's like, that's, what? what? Like, those are little kids, man. Two of them were girls None of, too, though, yeah. right? I think two, two of them, of them were, were girls, girls but yeah. what's even worse is, I, 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 mean, I guess it's not worse, but it just strikes me as odd even more. It's like, you're doing that in front of your little son. You're showing your son your ass, twerking your ass, and then showing your little girl that that's something she should do. Meanwhile, showing your son that, like, kids are innocent. I said this on my Instagram, dude. Yeah. Kids are innocent. Don't rob them of their innocence before it, they should, you know, grow up. And, and and be robbed of it by life in general. You know what I mean? Mm. Especially if you're a parent, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Because and you I, know what I it saw... is, is? This society is, is, is sadly, is just driven by likes, exposure, yeah. by going viral. By, that they've lost by all by jumping common in, sense jumping in into the process. Jumping little trends and mm-hmm. little bullshit dances and all yeah. that. Like, I... In one way, I get it, but like in another way, you're showing your kid that you're opening their eyes to like something that they, they don't need sh- to be exposed be. to yeah, for no dude. reason. And Not right just, now, dude. It's just sad. And just all this stuff over this last week and then what we talked about on the last episode, it just kind of made me look around. It's like, I don't want to be that, dude. Mm. I know I joke on here and I make jokes. We also said that we don't make sexualized jokes, yeah. but we totally do. <laughs> like, yeah. I was watching the episode and I was like, that's eh, a little, that's pretty sexual. That's yeah. a little sexual over here. You know what I mean? But yeah. it's all it's all said and jest. It's all just joking and having having a good time. And, which we uh, should be able to do. Yeah, which we're able to do. You know, I don't know. We're not doing anything, I don't think, like out of control or wrong, you know, in mm-hmm. a sense. But other people may disagree, and that's fine. You can disagree. But I just looked at it. I just, I don't want to be what I'm seeing online, dude. Like, mm. this is stupid stuff. I don't want to be categorized in that that category as some fucking dumbass who just jokes and has no IQ. You know what I mean? I do, man. Like, mm. we, we all do to some some level. We're all, we're all intelligent, uh, uh, you know. We may not be good at math, and we may not be good at this, but everybody's intelligent at some point with something, for the most part. There's some people out there that are fucking retarded, but, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, there's something I did want to bring up, dude, because uh, I didn't want us to look like 
complete idiots. You guys see this little bob ahead of Al Capone? Thanks to my brother, Zathaniel, on Instagram. Follow him. He was on an episode, is episode it really? seven. Is it really Zathaniel? That's always, not his real name, no. I, I always thought it was just Zane. It is. But oh, okay. my brother, my brother Zane, he's uh, at Zathaniel on Instagram. He does artwork and he's a tattoo artist and everything. But uh, he was on an episode, episode seven, if you want to go check that out. With Also with Jar of Retro, who provided yeah. us with these pops, by the way. All the pops that you see here today, this uh, Wolverine one, this Wonder Woman 84 gold one, Iron Man up in the corner over here. If you can see, it's a yeah. flocked Amazon exclusive Sully from Monsters, Inc., there's and a, uh, organization, uh, the yeah, organization thirteen Mickey from Kingdom Hearts. So shout out to Jar of Retro. If you yeah. watch the podcast and regularly, you, you and definitely you Mike, know Mike. Thank you, Mike, for breaking it down to him that I'm keeping like the. No, Wolverine. I specifically asked for so, this Wolverine you, when he saw it. That, man. I called dibs. So thanks, man. Uh, anyway, my brother gave me this bobblehead of uh, Al Capone, and uh, we talked about Al Capone on the last episode. With Tom Hardy and being Tom Hardy, and we showed the photo, and we were talking about this. We were misinformed. Uh, and I just don't want to look like an idiot because <laughs> like we're we gaming centric, movie point. centric and everything. <laughs> Somehow we completely overlooked it. The uh, trailer for this movie came out in like April or something. There's been more photos. Clearly there's been obvious, uh, but you, you know can what see it, more you know because the trailer was, was out. You know what it was for me too though? Because like I, I was, I followed Tom Hardy a lot. I told you his social media went from. Al Capone From to Venom. Al Capone, yeah. Al Capone, Al Capone, Al Capone, Al Capone, and then just yeah, dead. Venom. And it seems like even the, I think he might have even deleted the post or something. Like he that, he deletes a lot of stuff because he posts it. Yeah, posts it. Uh, yeah, and then it, it, it just all that attention went yeah. to Venom, and I think it took away from the whole yeah. Al Capone thing. I just genuinely we should have yeah. done more research. I, we should have. We should have. Yeah, more. being that we pride ourselves yeah. on being gaming and movie, yeah. you know, more knowledgeable on it, uh, we overlooked it. And uh, we look like dumbasses because it, it even says in the trailer that it's focused on the later years of his life. Yeah. Uh, so Which yeah. I kind of, I kind of figured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how we overlooked it. We're mm -hmm. like I said, we're pretty on top of things here and there. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody's wrong sometimes. Yeah. Point is, we just wanted to bring that up. So anyway, we're gonna get into some shit, man. Some things that we really want to talk about. Not some things that we're passionate Literally, about. We're gonna dive right into some feces. Uh, <laughs> so Sony came out recently. And, uh, oh, speaking of feces, I really, yeah, Sorry. I really want to talk about this because I, I don't know if everybody knows, but uh, just, I, I am a very heavy PC gamer. I have nothing against consoles. I have owned, I grew up on the consoles first, obviously, uh, but I'm a very heavy PC gamer. I play World of Warcraft. I play Overwatch. I play Elder Scrolls Online here and there. Uh, I dive into our MMORPGs and shit like that. So. Anyway, uh, I do own an Xbox. I do not own a PlayStation console. I haven't owned one since PS2. Mm. I'm not against uh, consoles or anything. I plan on getting the, the uh, Series X. I plan on getting the PS5 at some point. Nice. Uh, I plan on getting all these. I want to own all of them this time around. So Sony says that their PS5 SSD is far ahead of high-end PCs. And I'm going to tell you right now, false. It's a great marketing scheme. False. It is a great <laughs> marketing scheme. I'm not buying into it. I was talking to our boy Tony earlier this morning, mm -hmm. Tony Chavez, photographer on Instagram. Check him out. And uh, we'll tag him somewhere. He was saying the same thing like, no. You know what I mean? No. Because look, here's the thing. Even if it if it's possible that their SSDs and whatever other specs may be in there that they're tra talking about are higher end than PCs and can be do outdo a PC, let's just pretend that that's 100%. Let's just pretend that that's got some truth to it. Mm -hmm. It may be that for like right now, but the PC community and the industry is ever evolving. It's ever um evolving you know what i mean it's constantly updating constantly upgrading you can you can you can take your shit apart you can rebuild it you can upgrade you can do all this you cannot do that with consoles so at some point in time mm. that ssd and those specs that are in any of these consoles are going to be outdated in comparison to pcs so it's a great marketing okay, scheme so, so for then, people that don't so understand then, so then do you think that it technically can be better at one point, and then it, it'll it, just be outdated. It'll be outdated months very or some shit like that. Yeah, a yeah. PC yeah. is but just so, be, so it's 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 higher end, no matter which way you yeah. look well, at I it, mean, dude. Higher you, you end gotta, capabilities. You got to you got to think about it too, though. It's just like you got to strike some kind of controversy. You got to come out hot. They got yeah, a lot of, of ground to make up for just because but of don't everything. Lie. But, yeah, I know, but, but just don't lie. here's what I'm gonna say to round it out: is this right here? The minute that that PS5 comes out, it's dated, not outdated. Don't it's mistake dated, my though. words. It's dated. Right there, because you can't take it apart and upgrade anything in it, the minute that something better comes well, sure out for a PC, which it's already, you know what I mean? That's already dated. It's been it's dated tech. Which I'm sure you know somebody can though. Yeah. I'm sure there's somebody across the world somewhere that knows 
the nose tech is the, the ins and outs and it can do things. I'm, I'm and, certain, and we'll be able yeah. to mod that yeah. Xbox or PS5. But yeah. nonetheless, um, they also revealed their Unreal Engine, the PS5 tech demo. I'm sure everybody saw that by the time yeah. that this comes out, we of course, like because we we're a weekly like a podcast, pod, podcast. podcast. We are a weekly podcast, we're, so sometimes things you, come out like sound, a week to week like and a half uh, later. You sounded like a poo from uh, The Simpsons. Oh yeah, I don't watch The Simpsons. I don't like The Simpsons. Oh. Don't like The Simpsons. Never right, did. Guys. It was nice <laughs> being a part of the podcast. <laughs> Never did, dude. Never liked it. All right. Um, they predicted a hell of a So lot they of released shit, their though. PS5 tech demo. And okay, I have a little bit of mixed feelings about it. Does it look good? Yeah. Looks great. Detailed as fuck. Detailed yeah. as all hell, right? Yeah. But here's my thing is we've been shown tech demos forever. And then most of the time when everything is finalized and it comes out, it does not look like the tech demo. And see, and see here's another thing that I have, uh, I guess, to kind of argue or say something about that and make a point is the fact that, well, yeah, everybody was bringing up the fact that tech demos aren't the final product. They're yeah. not going to be the same thing. Like this morning when I woke up, I looked at that tech demo on my phone, just like a couple clips of it. I didn't watch the whole 10 minute, nine minute thing uh, on it's my phone minutes. and I wasn't impressed and that's because it was on my phone. Yeah. But then when we watched it on the 4K TV, I was like, okay, this detail does look, you know, a lot, better. a lot better. Better. It, it, yeah. is, it did impress me, but I don't think that that's what games are going to look like 100%. You know no, what I mean? not even that. That also looked like, like it's a cinematic. Seen, it looked like cinematic gameplay, and there's a difference. I would have you liked to I mean? have seen uh, a different game. Yeah. I would have liked to see it in a game with action, how uh, like a first-person yes. shooter. More stuff going uh, down. Yeah. down. Dom. God, yeah. I can't speak it was easy, Of course, it's easier to show detail when the whole, the whole basically, first portion of the demo was, was in just a, was, was in the cave was in the cave but not yeah. even that it was very slowed down it's like but hey, either I'm way walking, i'm i will climbing. give them i will give them credit it does look good it mm. does i'm not saying that it doesn't mm. look good it looks amazing but that's when if, it comes out if is it going to look like that am i going if, to play again, a game that looks exactly like that demo i think not that to, looks more like what have, cut scenes you have and cinematics have, are going to look you like. have to have the TV to be able to be capable with that type of a to experience it, yeah like because that. even if you're even if like let's say it's oh it's 8k okay yeah. cool but if I have 4k I'm not gonna be at full uh, yeah you know, but I mean taking I, advantage I mean of that. even that tech demo as far as the one that I watched on YouTube it wasn't shot in 4k so I, we watched it on 4k TV so obviously it looked yeah, a little yeah. bit better but it was still in 1080p so I don't know uh, correct me if I'm wrong but you're showing us 4K to 8K capabilities that are Shot scaled down 1080p. to 1080p. I don't. That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, that's you know kind of I mean? bullshit. So I don't know. It's just, what do you guys think? You know what I mean? I see mm. in comments, a lot of people are saying what I'm saying. Looks great, but I don't think the game's that's going to look like that. That's not a final product, yeah. 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 No matter what, which they brought they, that up, which they actually brought that up during the uh, did they? during the demo. They they brought up the fact that it was. Um, like they were using some kind of technology that was usually only left for like cinematic. Uh, See, that's my thing. If you're like using that. those kind of uh, the, the 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 style and the tech yeah. for that, and you're claiming that the gameplay is going to look like that, that's what they're. Claiming. When it comes out, it fucking better look like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's what you said. People were making fun of that demo yeah. though, because they were like, it just looks like Temple Run on steroids. And shit, you know? <laughs> um, also, that which bring, is a fun game, but <laughs> I, ne I never played not, it. I not, never got into that's it. That's not gonna drag me to go buy a whole yeah. system. I remember one time I was at Disneyland and I was in line for Indiana Jones, and everybody around me was playing Temple Run. Yeah. And I, I just never, I never got into it. Never downloaded it. Never tried you it. Remember I've the days seen when it. we had freedom and we we're able to I make know, the choice dude. if we could actually spend money on yeah. the. Super expensive theme parks. Disneyland, yeah. Remember when we were we had freedom and we could make our own choices without the big government putting their hands on the back of our necks and saying this is what you do. And we decided to go, hey Disneyland, just take all my hard and earned money and like just threw our wallets at them. And we're like, fuck it, because I don't need any of my money for one day at Disneyland. I don't need it. Yeah, dude, but it Those was good nuts because we had we had what we had the gold pass or we had the highest pass you could have at that point before it shot up to like fucking ten thousand dollars. That was ridiculous. Day. It's like yeah. it's like two thousand twenty two hundred, I think now for the annual pass, the best one. We had it. Yeah. I don't know if that's because we're older. They just charge so much. Yeah, every so year. which it also which also we've talked about this with Roger before too. Like it, it, even if you get like one of the lower passes, it's a fucking scheme, dude. It's 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 yeah, a, a between scam. Parking, it's cause, between parking yeah, and everything that you're paying yeah. every single and time. And if you get food or merchandise, like well, no the matter. Food, okay, so the food I, I, I I'm not saying I disagree. The food's not with you the great, greatest. At no, Disneyland. well, fuck the food. I'm not even yeah, worried about yeah. that. Fuck that's, the food, man. That's, that's 
that's extra. That's mm-hmm. ex- that's to be expected. Yeah. To physically visit the park, I have to pay for parking, yeah. or I have to find parking outside of the theme park, which yeah. is impossible because it's all residential. It's, resident- not it's, it's residential. Not you're not yeah. finding. It's not so happening. So you're I'm I'm forced to pay twenty twenty five dollars every time. Twenty five now. Yeah. Okay. Which yeah. will go up to like a hundred yeah, eventually. It's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. But I'm forced to pay. I'm forced to pay for parking. I'm forced to pay for uh, a pass that will have blockout days because exactly. I'm not going to spend exactly. the, for the maximum. Yeah. And again, pass. he's talking if you're not yeah. getting the highest. Pass. That's if you're getting the lowest. Yeah, you're getting one of the well even. Even just any of the lower ones that yeah. aren't the highest, because now they're signature they're all they all have block only. date a uh, block out dates and Except they all the have they all plus. have to pay for parking unless it's the highest one. Yeah, yeah. So Roger has the one right below. The high, no, he no, has he the had, highest. No, I think he was saying that this this go around he down not downgraded. Well, yeah, he, he went down. Did he? Yeah, one. Well, I don't know, but but my my point is is like if you're not getting the highest in in my opinion, I haven't looked at them a hundred percent, so I'm not a hundred percent sure. But I've done the math before. If you're going, yeah, we did it with Roger. We yeah, because we had this if argument. If you don't have the <laughs> highest pass and, and you're getting one of the lower ones, yeah. depending on how many times you go, yeah. just on the parking alone, twenty five dollars uh, each time that you go. Well, eventually, you gotta, you gotta think. again, I'll clarify what though. The, depending on how many times you go, you're already either getting equal to or further than the amount that it would be monthly for the highest the highest grade pass you guys get what i'm saying so let's let's do this right because it is it's on a monthly basis that you get charged just if it, let's say you get the lowest pass which i'm not sure how much it is but i don't know either. if you do parking 12 times a year that's 300 bucks you already gave them yeah exactly do you see what i'm saying Yes, bucks, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's 300 bucks that could go towards a higher pass that mm-hmm. may or may not, because I think, again, it's only the highest one that has free parking. Yeah. So it's like it's a it's a scam depending on how many times you go. I can't say it enough yeah. because there's people that have argued with me about it. Like, no, it won't be that way. Roger it depends argues. on how many times you go. Yeah. If you go X amount of times, you might as well just buy the actual highest pass. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which or is you're just which, wasting which money. Which sucks though, dude, because just with just just with how our schedules are in general, like yeah. my my shit's all over the place. Yours is yeah, all over it's the all place. All over the fucking place. Yeah, dude. to get all all of us to line up on one day. Let's yeah. say, oh, we're all gonna go Wednesday. We're not gonna yeah. shoot the podcast that day. Yeah, we're gonna go to you know park whatever enjoy and we're gonna vlog. We're gonna yeah. become Disney vloggers. <laughs> hey, uh, paid sponsorship. Ooh, um, Disney. So Disney would never. You don't even gotta pay me, dude. You just gotta let me in. Us. You just gotta let me in for free. They would never sponsor us yeah, ever, dude. Uh, yeah. Ever. Dream big. It wouldn't happen. Um, but we went on. We went on about this whole Disney thing. Wrap, wrap it up. What were you yeah. saying? Yeah. It was just pretty much that. That Yeah. 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 But anyway, so The Last of Us, back to the PlayStation shit. Sorry, guys. Uh, the Last of Us 2, uh, supposedly, the um, I was talking to you about this briefly. Mm. Supposedly, The Last of Us 2 on the PlayStation Store, the store reviews are being faked, if I've, if I've looked at this correctly. Mm. Because... From my understanding, again, anybody, correct me if I'm wrong, I do not currently own a PS4. So on the PlayStation Store, I am have been told by a source, an unnamed little birdie that flew in and was like, Chaz, check it out. Look at what they're doing over here at the PlayStation Store. Um, mm-hmm. You can't do a review or a rating on a game unless you purchase it. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know if that's true or not. Okay. Um, and they've already racked up like 1,800 reviews, and they're all like raving reviews, good reviews on The Last of Us 2, even though the game's not out yet. Uh-huh. So, and the thing is, what you be, said. I'm thinking that could yeah. possibly be through betas and stuff like that, and they yeah, allow maybe, them I don't to know. make and, reviews and, and, just because they got um, the betas. What am I trying to say? Like blogs, media outlets, and stuff that have played it. Yeah, because you got to remember, they get special access yeah, before the game comes but out. But 1,800 they reviews get, worth they get, they get they get special 1800 access. reviews though it's not like that's that, what it's people not are that, saying cuz people hard. are saying what you're saying mm-hmm. but then people are saying what I'm saying like okay yeah. yeah that does make sense it could be it could be possible but almost 2000 yeah uh, 2000 I'm, I'm telling you I'm telling you what what's going is. on over I, there there's, sony there's two sides to that but it 100% makes yeah. sense it's not that hard to find 2000 people that will play your game for free with early access and write to a, a good full review. game and write a are they paying people off though hey hey fucking Jerry write me a good essentially you essentially you are we're giving them a free yeah. game who knows i don't know you let us know what do you think do you think these yeah. reviews are being faked let us know if you have anything send I us screenshots send us whatever feces. i think it may be a little bit faked okay. i think it may be a little a little um fabricated there we go mm. it's trying to think it's trying to drop some knowledge we're gonna get into this week's cosplay of, of the, the week. week this 
week's cosplay of the week was chosen by me. Mr. Blow your and eardrums it out. Goes to nerd underscore alert underscore oh, cosplay, cosplay on Instagram, and it is Snake from Metal Gear Solid. I'm loving all the underscores, man. I'm lo- a lot of I'm loving the underscores, I'm, man. Yeah, I like that. Thank you guys for yeah. bringing the underscores. And this guy thought I was weird for having so many. I just that sometimes it depends. Like name. sometimes it's a mouthful. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like. <laughs> You know, it's it's a lot to get out sometimes. But either way, Nerd Alert Cosplay, this is amazing. Like, yeah. once again, we get these cosplays sometimes that literally look identical to the cosplay, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the character or the art or whatever it may be that they're doing looking identical. And then also, like we've always said, sometimes even better if it's like mm-hmm. a movie or something where they dress up as it. You know what I mean? This is absolutely amazing, dude. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Got the fucking knee pads. Um, got the, got the yeah, gloves. for the listeners, I always forget. I do want to say real quick, I'm so sorry to the listeners because sometimes we forget to like detail and be descriptive on certain mm-hmm. things. Um, this also gives you a chance to head on over to our YouTube. And you can check us out at Side Project Podcast on YouTube and like, comment, and subscribe. Um, because sometimes Shame we have we throw blood. things up on the screen where you can see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't. You may not get the full description of it, but that's why we always give you the uh, Instagram and everything. So if you are listening, you can go and you can look it up and look up exactly what we're talking about. So anyway, nerd alert cosplay. He said that uh, that this was a uh, hard. Hard cosplay to take a picture of, I think, right? Where's it at? 20 yeah. attempts. It only took 20 attempts, he says. He laughs yeah, out loud. Shout out to the um, photographer. Shout out to the too. photographer at Edwin I mean, Fabian, Fabian on Instagram. Um, dude, this is amazing. Again, for the listeners, he's got his hair slicked back. He's got the bandana flowing and it's flowing in the wind and everything, in the same too. Direction. Just like in the same direction as the um, the side by side that he put. I mean, everything just looks amazing, you guys. Yeah. I, I I can't Support even just good. give an accurate description. It's just, it's snake. It's 100%. This is, this is what it is. He's and he's done an amazing job, dude. And this he is a, uh, he has a bunch of other cosplays that you guys definitely yeah you need gotta to check, check out, him though. out. He also does a lot of cool videos. You saw the shirt one, yeah, where he's doing the shirt transition. Yeah, dude. Oh the man, transitions, the transitions right? are amazing. Yeah, his yeah. his editing skills are great. Um, I used to play a lot of Metal Gear Solid. I haven't played them for a while, but I was a big, 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 big fan of Metal Gear Solid. Me and Jar of Retro, we used to play it. Me and Mike used to play it all the time. He'll remember when he's watching this. Hopefully he'll comment about it. Comment down below. Um, So anyway, dude, nerd underscore alert underscore cosplay on Instagram. Your cosplay from Metal Gear Solid is absolute. I, I know uh, you. I know amazing. you appreciate like massive men and stuff, but like his build got the character down pretty damn good. Yeah, dude. no, this is great. Facial dude. features, yeah. everything, dude. It's yeah, pretty this is sick, amazing. Man. Hey, did you see the uh, Xbox gameplay reveals? Uh, did you? No. I think you were working when they came out, but did you yeah. ever get around to nah, looking dude, at them? I've been, honestly, I've been. Yeah, my schedule. No, it's cool. Been so it's cool. Jammed. Um, so I'll tell you about it. But they, I have heard a lot of complaints. Though. They so I'm gonna talk about it with the people. Talk about it with you since you didn't get the chance to look at it. Um, fans are disappointed because X, including myself, a little bit. And I was talking to, oh, shout out to Hazard Hazard Gaming Collectibles on Instagram as well. We, he hit me up and we were talking about the Xbox. We were talking about the Xbox, Xbox gameplay reveals. Um, so they labeled it as a gameplay reveal, right? Okay. So what do you think when you hear you should gameplay re- reveal? You should either be revealing a list of games that you plan to drop. You should be uh, revealing at, at minimum, if you're not going to give us titles, how many games you plan to drop. But Maybe what's the main thing? If you say gameplay, gameplay. reveal... What's the main thing being being shown? Some some game games. action. Yeah, some fucking some, some, action of the games, dude. The yeah. gameplay. Almost everything was just trailers and yeah. cinematics. Once again, these companies like either word it correctly or don't put it out, man. You know what I mean? Word it correctly. Yeah, but Because fans are, yeah. it was lackluster as well because it was very little gameplay shown. And then the ones of that, that did show gameplay, people are saying that it wasn't anything to like rave about. You know what I mean? And okay. then again, what I games think... Did, what games did they show gameplay for? Wasn't even any like, um, like big, big games other than Assassin's Creed Valhalla at the very end. But yeah. again, it wasn't really like gameplay. It was still a cinematic. It was still a cinematic. It was kind of still a cinematic. And I keep saying this, and I may not be giving Which out the I'm right terms, but it's like some of these gameplays quote unquote are cinematic style gameplay it's not like true gameplay Gameplay. if i had the controller in my hand you know what i mean show me the ui and everything too what's it gonna look like because if you don't show that my bad if you don't show that and you're just showing like cinematic style gameplay and then when the game comes out and i got like all these uis and everything and whatnot like then you weren't showing me true gameplay yeah show me what it's gonna look like when i play it when I turn it on. Yeah. yeah, when I turn it on and when I play it, I show me it. what it's going to look like. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
damn, so they didn't even re- reveal anything. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, there was, not to shit on it completely, though, there was some, like, cool things. I think, I was talking to Hazard about this, too. I think uh, the game's called Scorn. I may be wrong, but I think it's called Scorn, mm-hmm. and it looked kind of interesting. It, it was supposed to be, uh, the, 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 the trailer wasn't, like, it didn't really even show anything. It was one of those trailers that, like, barely show you anything, but it's enough to get you to go, hmm wonder what that's about you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. but it didn't tell you anything it was supposed to i think it's supposed to be like a horror style game but i don't know anything about it i didn't look it up any further sorry guys but i don't know if it's like a, you know first person or third person or who knows dude but um give us some more information and so far with this next generation uh consoles and stuff they've been dropping the ball i'm not too well, excited about too much you, dude do you think they're trying to show us cinematics to kind of keep us interested and i think like, they're showing cinematics it. because they look the best yeah and they're well, of course they're gonna try to they're, co- they're gonna try to yeah. take advantage of every kind of everything uh, that's the best that they can't put yeah. out right now yeah yeah i understand I just, that aspect of it but yeah. for us like fans who don't don't call it a gameplay reveal you should have said yeah. a cinematic party uh fucking yeah. you know like yeah like, something dude uh, something other than what you called it because that's not what it was and yeah. it left me a little disappointed talk to her um, charge your media because yeah dude trash. but speaking of speaking of assassin's creed uh some valhalla, valhalla information has come out some more information the season pass is going to include a story mission based on the legend of beowulf mm. which is i'm dope I'm, I'm dope i'm i'm stoked yeah. Uh, where players will discover the cruel truth behind the legend. And that's set in, uh, Beowulf is in Scandinavia, I believe. And uh, so that makes sense. It's it's where, it's near or where all the Viking crap happened. Mm-hmm. So um, that's cool. I'm stoked for that. I always yeah. like when AC goes into uh, like historic stuff, like when they had the... Egypt one, right? I think, it, was it DLC back then or was it just like a part of the story i think it was just part of the story and then there was a dlc back when it was uh with Ezio still my the, my most favorite assassin um they had the uh damn shakespeare i think was involved in it and uh oh i'm drawing a blank ah i totally had this in my head before we sat down and now i now i don't remember but anyway i like it when they go and they do things like that you know what i mean they go off on real stuff and real real people and real storylines and and like you know you see a- accurate more so accurate stuff I think that's dope dude I really yeah. like that Ubisoft also revealed that uh, Valhalla will be much smaller in scale than mm. the previous AC installment which was Odyssey um, you haven't played it right Odyssey no I have not I, like, yeah, I we gotta I was, get into I it I think man. I was telling you the last oh Assassin's yeah we were talking Creed about it. I think it was I, Unity for you yeah cause that that would've been like in Spain or like Italy or some shit like that where was I think Unity Unity was in France oh wait no no no, no. you're talking the last ones you played were in Italy yeah the one okay so it was I with played. Ezio the one Ezio, that I which there was three of that though Assassin's yeah. Creed, two Brotherhood like and Spanish, Revelations. There, there was like a Spanish one or something like that. It I don't, might have I been don't, Brotherhood. I don't know. We got to go through it and, and figure out which one. You got a yeah. lot to catch up on. But uh, I'm which currently I'm not though. Um, yeah, I'm it's being, a I'm lot being, of no, games. No, no, I'm being completely long, honest with you. No, it's not even so much that, dude. I could get into some, you know, mm-hmm. games. It's just that what what attracted me to Valhalla so much is is this fucking barbaric nature. Yes. This nature of just. Being savages mm-hmm. and 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 it also shows like their side of like you know how he was they're protecting their homes, they're yeah. expanding, etc. Yeah. You know, so stuff like that. Dude. Yeah, it's interesting. It's history yeah. that that I was into. Yeah, I'm I'm currently playing through Origins because I I, I want to catch up. I, I love Assassin's Creed. Say it all the time. Got a tattoo. I dig it. I know there's a lot of people that the, the fans are definitely divided. I was also talking to Hazard about this. The fans mm-hmm. are definitely divided. On what they and that's fine. Better, Everybody better can have their opinion. Uh, there people are a lot of people are saying that. Assassin's Creed have lost their identity. It's not really even Assassin's mean? Creed anymore. Like they've lost their true identity of like what it used to be. You know, I have an Assassin's back, Creed thing in the in the corner. That's what I'm pointing shit. to. No, just like you know, like the hoods and the assassins and the, and, and the hidden blade and and doing what what assassins do. Whoa, they've just kind of lost their way. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I I kind of agree, but kind of don't. Um, Origins. I'm playing it right now. It's the one set in Egypt. I'm having a good time yeah. with it. There's a couple things that I don't necessarily like. It's not giving me those vibes of back in the day when I played AC and I was like, oh, like yeah. super into it. Full you know, rager. if I was super into it, I would just, I'd be running through it right now, playing yeah. it like crazy and I'm not. I but am you, enjoying you, it though. You know what I think it is too? Though, and it's got great there, graphics There's, in my there's other games that are uh, they're drawing your attention more. And yeah. Sometimes that happens when you get a lot of games that yeah, you're yeah, interested yeah. in at the same time. Because I'm playing a lot of it's, games It's right hard now. to kind of yeah. focus in on one. And but, I um, have Odyssey, which is set in, in Greece and I cannot wait to play. That one got better reviews, said it was a little bit more back to the true AC. So like, I know I have I know I and uh, I can't wait to get into I know that. I haven't played all of them, so I probably can't comment or shouldn't comment. But like, do you think um, where you guys were saying that they've sort of lost their identity of who they are, etc.? I mean, do you think that just came with them trying to like 
you know, I, I, what's the what's the word I'm trying to look for? Evolve and shit like that. And yeah, and then kind I of also, adapt to the time. I also think they were rolling them out so fast. You know, they weren't was given be- enough time, time to focus on it. Like Unity was a mess. There were so many glitches and bugs, and I personally think it's because they didn't—they're not spending. They were just rolling them out and rolling them out. Listen, and now some shit out, some shit out, they're taking shit more time in between games mm. to focus on them again. They've also nixed the multiplayer for a lot of the games lately in the last couple years and the last couple installments, and just because focused on the story, story mode. mode. Yeah, which, which I good. actually do want them to bring back multiplayer. It's fun if they do it right. Oh, okay. It is fun if they but do that's it. That's right. probably more ha- more yeah. more of a hassle, more more time. It's for- a lot more for them to do. Yeah. I personally, though, overall, I can't wait for Valhalla, dude. I can't wait to just be yeah. a Viking and just. Ah, just, ah, just, ah, just ah, yeah, ah. And just like pillage villages and stuff. Like, I think that is, that's that's gonna be a really good time. Um, are you? Have you ever played any of the cyberpunk games? No, I haven't either, dude. I haven't no. played any of the cyberpunk no. games, dudes, but we have a lot of followers on our Instagram that, like that are cyberpunk. totally into cyberpunk. So I'm going to look more into it so I know what I'm talking about with you guys. Yeah. Sorry I haven't played it. Everybody you know, plays different things, yeah. and some things strike mm-hmm. other people, and some, pe- some things don't. Um, I will check out uh, 2077. Not just because of what I'm about to say, but because I a lot of people, Chaz even close to me, are no, trying to make no, up no, 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 no. Um, a lot of people are telling me to play it and this and that. But some interesting news has come out about Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 20, uh, 2077, it will let players customize breasts, butts, and uh, genitals. There will be various sizes and set combinations of those genitals. Yeah. Um, they're also going to have sex scenes accompanied by various positions. Yeah. First person perspective. First person, yes. Dude. Um, so you're going to see some... There will be fellatio. Uh, and uh, it's asses. a set, set release date is September tw- uh, 17, 2020. I don't really yeah. uh, take the, the release dates to be 100% true until they they're actually They keep moving dropped. things back. Yeah. yeah so you're gonna gonna going to be able on. to customize titties. You're going to uh, be able to customize fucking, asses. Was- I mean, this isn't the first game to do stuff like that, though. I I believe uh, there's this, this game. I don't know if it's on consoles or not, but I know it's on PC. I've seen it on Steam. Um Conan, I believe, I believe it's Conan, where you're able to customize the breasts and you're able to customize the the, the male genitalia and yeah, things like dude, that, that as well. I mean, but that's kind of, uh, yeah. I mean, I, okay, then, you know what? I have to play the game to know uh, mm-hmm. what's going on, and I have to kind of follow it or do yeah. at least at the very least do more research on it. Yeah. But I, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, you want to walk around also, with a massive I mean, third it, leg? Like in, that's in, up to you, dude. In Grand Theft Auto, you you have sex scenes to a certain extent. You have strippers yeah. and things like that. Well, those and, are kind of hidden into the cars and shit like that, right? Yeah, they don't quite show everything, but they this do, is they do the kind of the same person. thing. They're, they're, they're for yeah. fellatio. For those that don't understand what fellatio is, it's giving head. Um, yeah. So you're going to be doing things like that, too. I think in GTA, they do that, and they show the head going up and down. Uh, Again, I'm assuming that's going to be the same the, thing that's happening like here. in the car, though. It's not yeah. showing you. But for GTA San Andreas, there was uh, they were going to include who sat more, here? more descriptive and detailed scenes, but they, they nixed who's, that out. Who was who's the engineer? Who was the tech that said, hey, man, we need to be able to, like... You want massive yeah, tits? Yeah, dude. I don't know. You want a third leg know. hanging out? Yeah. You know, you want you want something like yeah. that going. Like who is? But the you guy know, there's gonna be like, that. there's definitely gonna be like these horny like 13 year olds that get this game, and oh, dude, uh, you know what I mean? Horrible. That are like, oh god, was, I'm gonna make him have a huge cock. You I know was know playing I mean? Call of Duty the other day, <laughs> and it was just like it must have been like one in the morning, dude. I was just fucking out of it. I was just playing or whatever, and this dude must have sounded all but 10, 12 years old. Yeah. And then he was like, that reminds "Come me. on, yeah. man." Do you have a mic, man? Do you have, yeah. and I, like I was pointing yeah. at him with a gun, and I was like, mm-hmm. "No, I don't. No, no not I had for a you." Mic on the yeah, whole time. yeah. I was and playing I was Overwatch like, no, the other day, and there was a. Dude. I was playing Overwatch, dude. It was actually wholesome, though. There's some people that get mad, and I understand it, you know, because when you're, because yeah. uh, uh, we play semi competitively with Warzone, oh, we like, do. We get into it. We you know do. What I mean? Yeah, yeah. So there's people that are like are our age and whatnot that like get upset when there's little kids that come on and like fuck around. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Uh, okay. Last night I was so, playing Overwatch, and there was like a little kid on, and. And and for the first time, I was like, look at this wholesome kid, like yeah. hanging out. He doesn't have school because the world's gone to shit. You yeah. know what I mean? He's hanging out playing Overwatch with his friend. It was him and his two friends, and they were like, he was like, oh man, look at. I know you may not know the, the characters, but maybe maybe some of the the people do. Uh, and he was like, oh look at Torb, he's so small. I think the kid was like probably semi new to the game. Mm-hmm. He's like, he's so short, and he's like, he looks like you, Jonathan. <laughs> the kid started like cracking up, laughing. He's yeah. like, and he's like, do you get it? Do you get it, Jonathan? And then his friend wasn't answering. He's like, yeah, you get it, Jonathan, because 
Cause you're you're short too, like and fucking, he was like, fucking kids yeah. though. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, there was some it's people. Not so much, it's not so much that that bothers me. I just think that uh, it's 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 nuts how crazy these kids talk. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. These these kids were knowing, young, dude. They were young, knowing, man. They weren't even they weren't like even cursing or anything. They were yeah. young, dude. But they were having a you know a good old time. And yeah. I was like, you have your grand old time. Yeah. And there's some people in the, the chat that were talking shit. You. They were like, oh god, looks like the kids are out tonight. But I don't know. For the first time, I was just like, I mean, I don't I don't get mad like everybody else does mm-hmm. but like the kid was just so happy dude yeah. we're gonna round this episode out with a new segment ladies and gentlemen we are introducing another new segment we introduced dope fan art not too long ago and we said it wasn't gonna be always every single episode it may and it may not it and this week we also have a new uh segment that we want to introduce and we're calling this segment check that <laughs> replay and what it's gonna be is it kind of that replays game replays things think dope dope shit that you've done in a game and you know recorded in a game and things like that and we're going to bring it over here to the podcast and we're going to show you so uh, this week we've got our first check that replay take it away Julio so uh, this was brought to you by Video Game Tats uh, they're on a squad the, the, the caption of the video says Sniper City uh, Part 2 so I'm curious to see what Part Snipe 1 City. is there's Snipe City my bad yeah. uh, Snipe City and it's clearly uh, you'll see why but just yeah, real quick I'm guessing that the, 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 the tags that are tagged here was the squad why? that's in it and uh, so you can hit them up you'll see it on the screen but for yeah. the listeners we'll tag it's uh steve stan St- steve stam 24 on instagram get it right man <laughs> tim smith id on instagram mr, mr. underscore gutsy Gut on instagram which it looks and like he might be the owner and that might be his a video game tax yeah. again correct us if we're wrong guys if you're watching this and the last one is megan a underscore mma, MMA. on instagram and yes Dude, she is the UFC like, featherweight. She's a UFC featherweight. Yes. She's like six foot tall. Dude. She's a monster. She's a monster. So we're going to check that replay right now. Oh, downed. Two, Two. downed. Three, Three, down. Killed confirmed, actually. One shot, one kill. Yeah. That's the team. No, he got a, t- got a team wipe. Oh, and then there's a second so part to it. Squad. Second part to it. That's actually smart. Oh. Uh. Ducking down behind the, the rock like that. Oh, that was. There we go. Oh, there we go. Down. Nice. Yeah, snipe, 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 snipe city for sure. You guys go follow video game tats. That was the first ever. Check that replay. And um, that was obviously, if you saw it, if you did it for the listeners, that was yeah. a replay of Call of Duty Warzone. And they were sniping the shit out of dudes left and right and yeah. killing motherfuckers left and right. right. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's real dope, man. I like I like how Call of Duty brought a lot of people together, man. Yeah. So thank you guys for tuning in to this super gaming-centric episode of the Side Project Podcast. Oh, if you're looking for me, you can find me at IGHatesChazzy on Instagram. And I am Captain underscore Juice Box. If you're looking for us as a whole, you can find us I at... I said that was so much Yes, yeah, you're so happy about it. If you're looking for us as a whole, you can find us at Side Project Podcast on Instagram. We are on Twitter at Side Project Pod. If you're looking for us on TikTok, this, they're throwing stupid shit up on every now and then. You can find Which us we, at we should Side Project. Start throwing our replays on there because we. Yeah, maybe we should. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for liking, for commenting, for subscribing on YouTube. And if you're not, please go down, hit that big red button, click it. Ooh, points given to you for subscribing. Also, thank you for rating, reviewing, and for listening on Apple Podcasts, on Google, and Spotify, and all those things that you listen on. We thank you guys for the bottom of our hearts for rolling with us for riding with us thus far thank you guys thank you guys appreciate it pistols because that's my thing not yours